Ash from Elevate My Feet, and today I'm just going to go over some Holy Girl journal prompts for 2023. I did steal this off of Ashley Hetherington, Hetherington, I can't remember her last name right now, but I'll link her video down below that I got the inspo to do this from. So um, yeah, let's just get right into it. So question number one is, what kind of person is God leading me to be in 2023? And I put kind, giving, forgiving, and focus. Those are like traits I really want to just like focus on this year and try to get better at. Number two is what has God affirmed to me that I need to act on? And I put growing closer to him, listening to him, because I also just really want to work on growing a close relationship with God this year. So, and I need to listen to him more and uh, just see what happens. <laughs> Number three, how am I going to show up differently for myself and others? And I put be more focused, attentive, make time for others. So I can like sometimes just worry more about myself than others and seeing what's going on with them. So I'm gonna try to focus more on that and being more you know, attentive to them and making time for them. Number four, what's one goal I can set that excites me? And that is connecting to other church communities because I just really feel like I need to branch out to some other church communities. Like I feel like you don't have to stay at just one church and feel like you have to just be with that one community. I think it's okay to like have options and branch out because not every church is gonna give you everything you need. Um, and I, that's how I feel for like some of the like young adult groups and stuff like that. So I'm trying to branch out and just, you know, see what's out there. You don't have to just stay in one little community your whole life, you know? <laughs> Number five, what's one goal I can set that scares me? And for me, that would be loving my enemies. I can definitely hold a grudge when I shouldn't be, or it's just hard for me to love people that obviously are like mean to me or messing with my family or friends. So I definitely need to work on that. So that'll be a goal I really need to work on and that scares me. So we'll see what happens with that one. Number six, what have I outgrown this year? And I put drama because I just dealt with some very unnecessary drama last year and I just really want to move on from that and not be dealing with that this year because it can really distract me from my relationship with God and what I should be focusing on. Number seven, what's an important boundary I can set in 2023? And for me, that'd be guarding my heart because I just went to a sermon last Sunday that explained to me guarding my heart doesn't mean just guarding things outside towards my heart, but also guarding my heart from spilling out because your heart can spew like things like, you know, negativity, anger, rage, like that would, that's what they actually mean by guarding your heart because your heart can come out with all these negative emotions and it's not because of the situations that happen you're in, it's because of your heart. So I really need to work on that. So I don't just, I'm not quick for, to like quick to anger or rage or whatever negative emotion my heart can produce. So I need to guard my heart in that way. Number eight, who weighs slash shows me down? I put toxic people because they definitely weigh or slow me down when distract me from what I should be doing. And who speeds me up? And I put my family and close friends. Number nine, what distractions are getting in the way of me walking with purpose? I put comparing myself slash life to others and social media because I'm just very quick to like be doing too much comparison instead of just worrying about myself and what I should be focusing on or just focusing on others but not comparing our lives and then social media definitely just takes up a lot of my time that I should be putting into bible study or doing things for the church community or whatever so that's what is in my distractions so number 10 what am I saying yes to this year I put growth and community and what am I saying no to this year I put toxic toxicness demons like inner demons like that type of stuff and a stagnant state like I don't want to just stay in the same state and be stagnant I want to keep growing uh my relationship and just myself as a Christian I don't want to just stay where I'm at I need to keep growing so that is what I'm trying to say no to this year number 11 who are the people God is leading me to invest in and I put non-Christians because I think it's important to like also hang around non-Christians instead of just Christians because they're the ones that need to hear, you know, um, the word of God or just see how a Christian person lives their own life and like hopefully take inspiration from that. Um, and then I also put and other church communities that want to grow and not just be a social group because that is what I feel like I'm having trouble with at my current church is like the young adults just want it to be a social group and not bring in new people and keep growing and keep and have deep relationships with each other besides just like doing parties and just hanging out casually. So I definitely want to go to church communities that want to grow and like really help each other through the tough times and just really deepen that relationship with God together. 
Number 12, what rhythms can I begin to implement in 2023? I put calmness, organized, and slow pace because I'm not exactly sure what rhythms mean. So I'm hoping like that's along the line of what I should be saying. So like, yeah, I just want to be calm, organized, slow paced, like not rushing around, being go, go, go because our, you know, rural culture is so like that, you know, in, in the US and everything, like you always have to be go, 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 hustle, never slow down and like, you know, stop and smell the flowers type deal. So I want to be more like that this year. Number 13, if I could make any changes, what would they be? And I put out, put reaching out to other Christians and church communities because that's like obviously what I really want to work on this year, like finding people that really want to just grow in deep relationships with each other and God because it's, you can't really do it alone with um, just, you know, like to become your best Christian self. You can't just do that journey alone. So really want to find that in the church community while I also work on my relationship with God. Number 14, where do I want to be in six months? And I put thriving in a good church environment and investing in the right relationships because I just want to feel good about who I'm surrounding myself with and that I'm investing in the people that want to be around me and that type of deal so yeah <laughs> and the last question is number 15 what is god leading me to do in 2023 and i put to open up more to other christians to continue working on my relationship with god so i just feel like i need to branch out i'm very introverted so it, I, I do think i need to kind of branch out to other christians and other people in general and I, I just definitely need to work on my relationship with God because I still feel disconnected from him sometimes that I'm straying away. So I just really want to work on that as well. And that is all the questions for the Holy Girl journal prompts for 2023. I hope you enjoyed that and that you're going to do them yourself. So it can really, it really just helps you like understand like what you want, what you need to be working on for your walk in Christ. So I definitely recommend doing it. It'll definitely help you get your goals and priorities straight for 2023. So thank you guys so much for checking out this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Sweet.